is Dan and Metro Nova Creative. And uh, we've got a client that is um, looking to upload a blog to their website that we built for them. And they want to use a feature image. They want to use this particular stock image that they found. And, um, but the image is over two megabytes, which is really, really, really high. You want to keep your image sizes really low, like 300 kilobytes and less um, is always great. Uh, just so that your site um, loads faster, you know, um, it's, it's a, a lot quicker, especially on the phone. Uh, Google actually does rank uh, your load time, and they take that into consideration with how high up in the Google searches you, uh, you end up. So that is part of SEO or search engine optimization. So um, like I said, we've got this great, uh, you know, stock photo, and we want to make sure that we compress this down correctly. Um, the first thing you always do when you open up in Photoshop here You've got your uh, your layers on this side, and they've got this little lock. So if you click that, it opens it up. And that way, if you need to do any corrections, you know, you can kind of go in here <clears throat> and adjust some of the brightness and stuff like that. Um, this one's pretty good, so obviously we're not going to mess with it. But uh, today, we're going to go image, image size. And as you can see, it's 5,600 kilobyte or pixels uh, wide. And a lot of times, it'll be 300 DPI here, your resolution. So we want to drop that down to 72, which is the appropriate size for web. 300 is going to be uh, for print. So you want more resolution there. Um, but 5,600, so typically even like the, the, the widest kind of screen, aside from like extra wide gaming screens, but like your kind of standard screens, the widest you're going to get is 1,900 pixels. So this is, you know, over um you know the width and so we we can actually just drop this down to you know you can say 1500 or if you want to be on the safe side say 2000 that's perfectly fine too because this is going to be a featured image so that's going to be like the top of the blog post and as you can see if you bring back up we're at 150 155 percent image still looks really crisp we're good to go next thing we want to do is file export and we're going to save for web make sure we're at a jpeg um, you can do maximum, very high. Let's keep it a high. This should do the trick here. We're going to hit save. Go ahead and name our photo. Uh, and then if we open this, and go there, and let's find our photo. There it is. So we're at 500 kilobytes, so a whole lot better, because this was at 2.5 megabytes before. So 537 kilobytes is going to work a lot better. And from there, you can you can keep going, right? You can keep messing with it. Let's see if we can... Uh... Actually, let's do this. Let's drop down that size just a tiny bit, a little bit more. Let's say 1,500, which is still pretty darn wide. Like I said, um, usually the... Uh, the widest screens are like 1900 now, the biggest like big, you know, IMAX screens and stuff. And we'll replace the original one. And then let's see where we're at. 346, so that's probably where we wanna be. You know, if you get it lower than that, um, it might be okay, but with something that's as big as a hero image, which is the whole top of the page, um, you don't wanna start losing too much uh, you know, clarity in the image. Um, if you're doing just kind of, you know, images throughout a blog post or on a page that are just kind of standalone or accessory to some content, then you can drop it down even further. But um, I like to try to keep my feature images uh, around 300. So there you go. A quick, easy way to compress your images the correct way for your WordPress site. If you have any questions about building a website or if you need some help, uh, just drop us a line. You can find us at metronovacreative.com. Talk to you later. Bye.